Hello guys, this is Pond Cakes, and today I'll be teaching you how to hack your PSP 1000 or 2000. So that means if your um, PSP is the first or the second one that came out, then that means this will be able to work and you'll require a Pandora battery or a service battery. Now these are pretty cheap now, they cost around about 10 bucks each. Um, and yeah, you require a micro, I mean, a memory stick pro duo as well, and also you need to make sure that you have an internet connection so what you want to do, you want to get Rain's Ultralight MMS Maker from this link, I'll put it into the description and then uh, you just download these two and you should have it there now make sure you have WinRAR on your computer or RAR, or you can download it from rarlab.com and install it and afterwards you want to extract it onto the desktop now what you want to do now, you want to plug in your PSP uh, my one's already plugged in so you want to double click Rain's Ultralight MMS Maker and J and Format if it's nothing in there and you want to click Make MMS now I already made one but all you have to do is just click it and then all of that will complete that's the rest um, for Mac users you can download the special package that I am going to upload and you just have to extract that into your PSP's memory card and everything will be good. Now plug out your PSP or if you put in your memory card then just take that out and put it back into your PSP and off to the PSP we go. Okay so now what you want to do, you want to insert your Pandora battery into your battery slot and then I guess that's about it for that one and just now what you want to do you want to hold the L button and you want to switch on the P flick the PSP's on switch and until the PSP is booted up then just hold the L button and let go of it now what you want to do you just want to select install 5.0 M33 Now for those with the PSP 1000 and 2000 but don't have the Pandora battery or can't obtain one or borrow one, I will create a tutorial just for you guys to do the software mod and it will also be compatible with Go and also um, the 3000. Now the reason why I would prefer this mod is because there's no hassle of upgrading, downgrading and using HEN and also it's because it's going to stay inside the memory forever but if you use hen then it'll, um, it wouldn't work properly like it'll just erase itself after you shut it down completely unless you install a permanent firmware um, permanent custom firmware that is available for the device so let's just wait for it to flash the files it shouldn't take too long Alright, so now all of that is flashed, you have two options to either reboot or shut down. Now, what you want to do, you want to reboot, and afterwards, you want to take out your Pandora battery and swap it for your normal battery um, once you turn off your device after I tell you to. What the? Oh, never mind. Uh, so. You want to make sure that all of your um, your firmware is installed correctly. So we'll go all the way down to system info, and there you go. It's your stuff. Now for those who are going, oh my gosh, you're showing your MAC address. I don't care. All right. So yeah, it doesn't matter if I show you the MAC address. I don't really mind. So yeah, there's your system software, which is 5.00 M334. Lutsch PSP, probably some German guy that made this, and here's your MAC address below. So what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to make a tutorial for you guys again to actually get your PSP's um your PSP's thing working. Um the later firmware so then you can actually run the newer games that you usually get from the shops. 
with custom firmware. So the latest custom firmware that I found was 6.6, .6, so I'm going to teach you guys how to update to 6.6. .6. So yeah, I'll let's go back to the computer and then we'll get 6.6 um, .6 .6 on our PSP. Okay, so now we've completed the 5.00 M334 installation, which will be very obsolete to for most of our newer games. We're going to get the custom firmware 6.60, minimum edition 1.6, fat and slim by Neuron onto our PSPs. So you need to download it through here, and then afterwards um, you need to get 660.pbp from the link that I'll put in the description. But if you can't um, if you can't get it from your computer and have a Wi-Fi connection, then you can get it from your PSP once you have this in your memory card. Or you can just put this in um, to your PSP and you don't need a Wi-Fi connection at all. So what you want to do, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, but I'm just going to put up for those without a Wi-Fi connection, just click download and then just wait the couple of minutes you have to. Oh my god, I hate this. And just plug in your PSP for while you're waiting. Alright, so I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so now that we've got everything downloaded, you want to head into your PSP's memory card. So, um, for me, that's Magic CMS. And afterwards, you want to go release 660. I'll go back to this, uh, this on the other side. Um, you want to go to extract all of this into PSP um, game, and then just chuck it in there. And you want to close that, and then go to 660 PBP game and just chuck that into the game folder alright and then just put it into update and back to the PSP we go again okay so now that we've got the 6.6 .6 firmware onto our memory card, what you want to do is you want to zoom, not zoom in, you want to go into your games, hit that X button, and look for PSP update 6.6, .6. and you should have an icon with saying Millennium Edition. Now you want to select that, and make sure your memory, your battery is over 78% full, and um, you should put it on charge um, during this update process, so I'm just going to get my charger. Alright, it's charging. Okay, so now it should say X to start the update or R to exit. So you want to um, press X, so then you'll update. Alright, now this would be just as, um, just like the normal PSP update, except at the end you will uh, modify the files. Now you just want to select enter, and your PSP would update. I'm just going to pause the video um, until it's complete and we'll go from Okay, so now that the update is complete, you just want to press that X button. 
and your PHP would automatically restart. Just to make sure that your update procedures have went properly, you just want to go head over to system settings and you want to check system information. And there you have it 6.60 ME 1.4 and your nickname and the MAC address. So, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any feedback, um, just comment if you're on my blog or if you're on. YouTube comment and like or dislike or do whatever you want, right? So yeah.